Hey ladies, so welcome back. So today we're going to be doing um, easy makeup look as well as a wig review. Sans Beauty sent me a unit, so I will be showing you ladies that unit later on in the video. Okay, as you all can see, I am bare faced and I have washed and moisturized my face as well as I apply primer. And the only thing that I have on is some lip balm on my lips. But the products that we'll be using today for the makeup look, there it's a mixture of drugstore as well as stuff that I've got from out of my professional makeup kit. Okay, so let's jump right into it. The first thing I will be using will be is is going to be this foundation from Wet n Wow. This is part of their Photo Focus uh, line, and I've showed you ladies this foundation before in the past, and I am very fond of it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, and this is in the color Espresso, I am just going to apply it to my skin, and you guys know I like to apply the foundation in fours, and I'm just going to take my brush, okay, and I'm just going to blend it out. And the brush that I'm using, this is from e.l.f., this is one of their brushes. I believe this is considered a bronzer blush from e.l.f., but I like to use it for my foundation. And you can pick this brush up at your local drugstore, okay? So I'm just going to get that foundation nice and blend it in. And don't forget to go down on the neck, ladies. And I also like to hit behind my ears as well. Okay, so I have the foundation blended out and the next thing we'll be using is this setting powder from, from Black Radiance. And this is the Soft Focus. And this is in the color Milk Chocolate. So I'm just gonna take my big powder brush and I'm just gonna set the foundation. Now moved on to the brows and I am just brushing my brows in place. And I've taken a dark brown pencil that I picked up from the beauty supply store and we're just going to fill in the brows. So I'm just going to make a line at the bottom of my brows and I'm not going to do a heavy fill, just something light. And then I'm just going to draw the line. Like I said, starting at the bottom of my brows, I'm just going to draw a line and extend it and I'm going to get a little heavier towards the tail of my brow. Okay, and then I'm going to on top, go on top, and I'm not starting right at the beginning of the top of my brow. I'll say about a quarter after the beginning, I'm going to draw another line, and then I'm going to go heavier downward. And I started doing this technique recently only because the front of my brow hairs have grown in, so I like for it to look a little faded and a little bit more natural at the front of the brow. So I really don't fill it all the way in. And then I'm just going to draw. Okay, ladies, so I am done filling in my brows. And as you guys can see, I have already started with one eye where I took my concealer. And this is from Ruby Kisses in the color level 10. And I'm just cleaning up what I drew. So I'm just taking my foundation brush and I'm going to go and do this brow and you ladies have seen me do this plenty of times so i'm just going underneath and i'm going to go on top and clean up the brow so i have my brows nice and blended out next i will be taking this color right here this is from mac this is called brown script and i'm going to take my blending brush and i'm just going to apply that into my crease and from the excess um, concealer that we used when we were doing our brows, I just blended that into my skin. So I'm just gonna apply this right into my crease. Okay, so as you all can see, I have blended the color into my crease. And what I've done is I've taken that concealer that we use for our brows and I put it on my lids and this is going to serve as our eyeshadow base. So I'm just going to get that blended on in. So the eyeshadow I'll be using is this MAC pigment. It is called Rose. 
it's like a rose gold type of color and i'm just gonna i already put it on this eye i'm just gonna put it on this eye right here and i chose this because the fall is here and this rose gold i'm not quite sure if you guys can really see this but it has like a flex of pink as well as gold and orange and it's really really pretty so i'm just going to get that apply to my eye okay so i have my eyeliner on top and my lashes on and these are kind of wet so i'm just gonna let them dry and these are just some wispies that i picked up from the beauty supply store so next i'm gonna highlight i'm gonna use my la girl and fine and highlighting and contouring is strictly up to you it is not mandatory so i'm gonna go ahead and just get my highlighter blended out highlighter blended out i'm using um this powder from black radiance this is the soft focus finishing powder and this is in the color golden almond finish so i'm just going to use that to set my highlight Okay, next I will be grabbing another product from Black Radiance. This is their contour palette and I will be contouring. I'm going to use this chocolate color right here and I'm just going to contour the sides of my face with it. And quick plug ladies, Walgreens has their cosmetics. Buy two, get one free. So definitely go to Walgreens and stock up on your drugstore cosmetics. Okay, so I'm just going to get my contour blended. I have dusted away my uh, setting powder under my eyes and I apply my blush. And I am using, and as you guys can see, I am using this highlighter. This is from, um, this is Beauty Supply Store Highlighter. This is from Nika K. This is in the color, um, it doesn't have a color on here. It just says MKM05, and this is a nice golden highlighter, okay? So that highlighter is so pretty, so, so pretty. And highlighter is optional as well. So next, we will be doing our lips, and I want to do something a little vampy, because like I said, fall is here. So I will be using this uh, NYX Liquid Suede, which is a purple. This is in the color Jet Set. So I'm going to put this on my lips. And it actually, it's like a purple type of blue, depending on how you look at it. But I'm going to get that on my lips. And then I'm going to put a color on top of it as well so I'm gonna get that applied okay so now I am applying my second lip color and this is from NYX as well this is their soft matte metallic lip cream and this is in the color Havana and this is in a this is a purple this well this one actually looks more purple as well but I'm just gonna get that on my lips and then I'm just gonna let it dry. So the unit that we will be reviewing is from the company Sensational. This is part of their Empress Lace Wig line and the name of the unit is Adriana. Okay, and I have her in a color number one. I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see and she is full of luscious curls. So I'm going to turn the unit inside out. As you guys can see, she has combs at the front of the unit, a comb at the crown, and then it's a comb in the back and it also has the adjustable straps. So I'm going to go ahead and get this lace cut off and then we'll be styling her. So I'll be right back, y'all. So I have Adriana on and what I've been doing is I've just been applying some powder into the part okay and you can tweeze her if you want 
and I'll probably do that later on just tweeze it to open up the part but I'm just going to just add this powder to make it look a little bit more realistic I have started combing out some of the curls just to relax it a little bit and this unit is so gorgeous the curls are so romantic looking ladies definitely 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 if you're into big luscious curls then this is definitely a unit that i will definitely recommend for you i keep saying definitely because definitely you need to get this unit okay i'm going to turn around so you guys can see how the back looks all right and as you guys can see it is cascading with curls and like i said I'll probably, when I do decide to wear her wear her out, I will go in and tweeze the part just to open it just a little bit. But as of right now, I can't really find my tweezers offhand, so that's why I didn't tweeze the part. Okay, so ladies, if you're feeling this unit, hit up Sam's Beauty. She is big hair friendly, so if you are wondering that, she is big hair friendly. And the hair is really soft. I've had a couple of units from Sensational Empress Line, and they have lasted a long time, okay? So, ladies, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.